Hello everyone, it's Mr. Fuller again here doing another math lesson. Today's lesson will be on dividing a fraction by a whole number. Uh, so the first uh, thing I kind of thought of is, well, if you had leftover pizza with all your friends, well, you can actually use this technique to uh, sp split it fairly. But let's go on and let's work out the nitty-gritty details. So our first example here is solve in lowest terms. So there's two ways um, that you could think about this. And the first way is similar to our concretely way from our multiplying fractions and whole numbers. But if we look at this in concretely, if we look at the number 3, we can also write 3 as 3 over 1, because 3 divided by 1 is just 3. So we have a fraction. So if we look at it like that, we have 5 over 8 divided by 3 over 1. Now this we can't actually do easily. One of the rules here that we want to do is we can take the reciprocal, which means flip the top and the bottom number, and then we can change this to a multiplication. And then we would know how to do it. So if we do that, we will get 5 out of 8 times 1 over 3. And then when we get this, all we have to do is just multiply across, multiply across, and we'll get our answer. So 5 times 1 is just 5. 8 times 3 is 24 and there we go there's our answer and we can't even bring this down anymore because 5 and 24 don't have any more common denominators if this isn't your thing and you like to use pictures we can also do that so the easiest way to think of this let's let's uh, bring it into a, a bigger box here and we can split it into eight even pieces and so in this particular example we will have five of them colored in. One, two, three, four, five. So when we think about this uh, pictorially, all we really got to do is now split each of our different sections into three, because we're dividing it by three. So if I draw lines here to split every one into three. Now each of our columns are separated into three. This makes it easy because now what we can do is if we hit all the columns and just looked at, let's say, this column right here. And we said, we have 3 out of 3 here, and now we're going to divide it by 3. So what we're actually going to be left over with here, and I'll draw another one, and then we can compare the two of what I did. That there, and we go like this. The first one, if we divide three divided by three, we just get one left over. Same thing for the second one, we get one left over, and the third one, and the fourth one, and even the fifth one. On the sixth, seventh, and eighth column here, we don't have any that are colored in. So three divided by or zero divided by three, we still get zero. So as you can see, if you counted up all the blocks in the bottom square here, we have 24 different blocks, and we have five of them filled in to get our answer of 5 over 24. So there you go. There's one, or there's two ways we can do it. We'll try one more example here, just to have us different numbers, and maybe um, count it into your brain a little bit more. So in this example, maybe I'll start with pictorially. So this example, we have 2 over 3 divided by 4. So if we're going to draw, we'll draw our I'll color it black here. We have a big square, and it's divided into 3. And we have 2 of them colored in, 2 out of 3. They want us to divide it into four different pieces. So our new picture is going to look like this. We still have three spaces here. We still divide it into four. And now if we looked at just the first column alone, we have four out of four in. So four divided by four is just one. So we actually just color in the one. And the same thing for the second column, just one. And then if we look in the fourth column or the third column, there's none, so 0 divided by 4 is just 0. So in this particular example, we get our answer of 
Well, we have two colored in, and we have four times three, 12 blocks total. So in this example, you can see that there is a common multiplier, a common denominator, a common, common divisor here. So two goes into two, and 12 goes into two. So we can actually divide both sides by two, by two, and this is going to equal to one out of six. And that's going to be our answer in lowest terms. So let's try this um, concretely here again. So if we write this out, two over three divided by four over one, well, that's now equal to two over three times one over four. And if we multiply across again, multiply across, we get 2 over 12, which is the same answer. And again, what we can do is we can bring it into lowest terms, divided by 2, divided by 2, and we get 1 over 6 as our answer again. So hopefully this helps you in um, dividing fractions by whole numbers. And again, if you want some more practice, I do have extra questions on my website, and that is www.mrjfuller.com, and you can find it under the math section. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.